Monday on It's Academic. Let's get to our opening round. We start our teams out with 100 points. In this opening round, 10 points for each correct answer, 10 points off should our teams miss. Teams, our opening category is democracy. Democracy is a word that's often in the headlines these days. But let's take a more historical view and see if you can identify the following. We begin. The word democracy comes from this language of, yes, Calvert Hall. Greek. All right. Yes, indeed. Greek. Thank you, Greek. Graham. Here we go. Democracy is charming, according to this Greek philosopher who wrote The Republic, Calvert Hall. Plato. Plato. It is indeed Plato. Nicely done, Aiden. Next. It took five years for this Frenchman to write Democracy in America. Yes, Calvert Hall. Lafayette. Lafayette. A good try. Alexis de Tocqueville was the correct answer there. Next, Henry Adams' novel, Democracy, portrays this 19th U.S. president. Andrew Manchester Johnson. Valley. Andrew Johnson. Andrew Johnson. Ooh, actually, Rutherford B. Hayes. Good try there, Bobby. Next. Here we go. This is your democracy. Protect it, said this first black Supreme Court justice. Calvert Hall. Marshall. Marshall. Thurgood Marshall, his name is on our airport nearby here. Extremes of democracy worried this first Treasury Secretary. Covered Hall. Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton, that is he. Next, Democratic Vistas was a prose work by this poet who wrote Leaves of Grass. Calvert Hall. Whitman. It is indeed Walt Whitman. And lastly, we must make the world safe for democracy, said this 29th president. All right, Manchester Valley. 29th is Taft Roosevelt. I think it's cool. Take your time. What you got for him, Bobby? Calvin Coolidge. Oh, you were close. Woodrow Wilson was the right answer there. And that's the end of the opening round. <laughs> St. Patrick's Day, and we're about to meet our players, and boy, we have a great audience today. Everyone is excited. They've got signs. I hear cowbells out there, and uh, we've got uh, three players from Francis Scott Key. First team we're going to introduce. Mina, tell us about yourself, please. Hi, my name is Mina Rohde. I'm a junior at FSK High School. In addition to doing Academic Challenge, I'm the High Woodwinds section leader in marching bands, first chair uh, clarinet in our wind ensemble, and secretary of our Triumph chapter. I would like to th today. I would like to thank our administration, specifically Mr. Winters, our assistant principal, for being here today. That's wonderful, and he'll be coming up in just a few moments' time here. So, uh, a, a musician and an academic over there, Mina. Nice to have you here today, Molly. Welcome back. Thank Tell you. us about yourself. I'm Molly Schneider. I'm a senior at Francis Scott Key. Um, in addition to Academic Challenge, I'm a member of the National Honor Society and I'm the aesthetics manager in our drama productions. I would like to thank our alternate Mason Francisco for being here today as well as our um, rest of our team members. Yes, and talking about the alternates, they are seated out there and I know a couple of the alternates couldn't make it today, so we have some pictures there and uh, it's front and back. So those, those of you at home who are alternates, we want to give you some face time, literally. All right, Molly, thank you. Thank you guys for bringing those with you today. Zach, welcome to the show. Tell us about yourself. Hi, I'm Zach. I'm a senior at FSK High School. Uh, in addition to Academic Challenge, I'm the section leader of our marching band's drumline and president of our Roe Kappa Social Studies Honor Society. I would like to thank our illustrious uh, teacher and mentor, Ms. Barnold, for being here. Illustrious got you some points, Zach. Yes, indeed. Thank you for that. Uh, look at your monitor, please. These questions are for you, Francis Scott. Keep 20 points, no penalty should you miss. Look down there, trail goad. By rearranging the letters in this phrase, you can name what sort of fighter who competed in the Colosseum in ancient Rome. Gladiator. That's right. Appeasing you, infuriating you, or incriminating you. If someone were placating you, he or she would be taking which of these actions? Appeasing you. Appeasing you. The first one, absolutely. Good answer. At Bunker Hill, the commander said, don't fire till you see the whites of their eggs. That doesn't sound right. Can you change one word for me? Eggs to eyes. That's it. Sir Francis blank and Edwin blank. 
which same last name is shared by the Sea Dog, who was the first Englishman to circumnavigate the globe, and the first American to drill an oil well in this country. Drake, Drake, Drake. Drake. It is Drake. Thank you, Mina, for your help on that. Success, four flights Thursday morning. This telegram was sent by the Wright brothers from what site in North Carolina where they had made their first successful flight? Kitty Hawk. Kitty Hawk it is. Nicely done, Francis Scott Key. Good round. Takes you up to 200 points. We move next to the team from Calvert Hall. And Aiden, nice to see you back again. And Thomas and Graham, nice to have you here for the very first time. Thomas, tell us the Thomas story. Thank you, Dave. Um, I'm Thomas Pottles. Um, in addition to its academic at school, I am a member of the Model United Nations, the NHS, and the band. Today, I'd like to thank our alternates who came out today, making up one of the best uh, cheering sections this show's history has seen. Uh, I like that. A superlative there. Uh, what instrument do you play, Thomas, or instruments? The, the alto saxophone. Very nice. All right. Aiden, thank you. tell us about yourself. Our captain. Hi, my name is Aiden, and in addition to uh, the academic team at Calvert Hall, I'm a member of the Model United Nations, I'm a member of our school's band, and I'm president of our politics club. Wonderful. And your instrument? French horn. All right. We have a lot of musicians here today. Graham, do you play any instruments? I do. Tell us about it. Hi, my name is Graham. I'm a sophomore at Calvert Hall. In addition to its academic, I'm also involved in the band, and I would like to thank uh, Giant Foods and Morgan State University for sponsoring our show. We appreciate it very much. And, and the instrument you play? Clarinet. Clarinet, very good. And you were here before in the audience, and it's nice to have you up here on the set. Gentlemen, look at your monitor. These questions are for you. 20 points, no penalties, no jaw stem. You can rearrange the letters in this phrase. Name what? First permanent English settlement in America established in Virginia in 1607. Jamestown. That's it. A college degree, a loan, or an agreement. If a friend were trying to get a consensus, he or she would be trying to get one, which of these? Agreement. An agreement. Aesop told a fable about the goat and the grapes. That doesn't sound right. Can you fix it by changing one word? The fable was the fox and the grapes, not the goat and the grapes. Next. We've left out the first and last letters of which of your bones, sometimes referred to as the breastbone. Sternum. That's it. And lastly, power in defense of freedom is greater than power in behalf of tyranny. These powerful words come, came from a 1965 speech by what African-American leader who changed his last name Little to a letter of the alphabet? Malcolm X. That's it. Nicely done, Calvert Hall. Picture to 220. team today hails from Manchester Valley and John and Bobby and Seth are all here for the first time all wearing those really nice matching bow ties over there. John tell us about yourself please. Hi I'm John Allen I'm a junior at Manchester Valley High School uh, as well as the academic challenge on my school's newspaper editor. I'm in the NHS, the SGA and the FBLA as well. I would like to thank Giant Foods, Morgan State University, our sponsors, uh, as well as my parents and our two coaches who are here today, as well as our principal and the rest of our teammates. Wonderful. And you did your homework. You had your sheet down there so you didn't miss anybody. I, I, I admire that. Uh, what's the name of your school newspaper? Uh, the Valley Voice. Very nice. All right. Uh, Bobby, welcome to the show. Tell us about yourself. Hello, I'm Bobby Wiegert. I'm a junior at Manchester Valley. I'm in NHS. I play the violin. and I'm in the marching band. I would like, like to thank our alternate Ashley, my parents, and especially my grandparents, Bob and Kathy Crouch. Wow, how proud they must be of you to have you here on the show here today, Bobby. Thanks for mentioning all of them. And Salvatore, tell us the Salvatore story. I am uh, Salvatore DeMarco. I'm a junior at Manchester Valley. Um, other than academic challenge, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> and we're happy to have you here today. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, our principal, our alternate, our coaches, and my dad in the audience. Wonderful. Salvatore, do you play any musical instruments? I do not. Uh, we will not hold that against you. Look at the monitor, guys. These are for you. Count its corner. To count 20 more points, rearrange these letters to name the 12-year post-Civil War period when southern states were occupied by federal troops. Reconstruction. That's it, Bobby. Next. Pandemic prognosis or placebo 
Of these three medical terms, which one refers to an inert or useless drug given to a patient? Placebo. That's it. Christopher Columbus called his flagship the Santa Fe. There's something wrong there. Can you change one word and make the sentence correct? Santa Maria. Fe to Maria. Santa Maria, that's it. Thank you, Salvatore, for your help. You won't need magic if you fill in the blanks here with the Roman numerals for 51 to spell the name of what chief sorcerer at King Arthur's court? L-I. L-I for Merlin, that's it. And lastly, he released government from the restraint of law. This was one observer's view of what Renaissance Italian author of The Prince. Oh, Machiavelli. Machiavelli. It is Machiavelli. Nicely done, Manchester Valley. <laughs> Takes you to 180. You know, today's winner will be moving on to our playoffs, but we have something for everybody today. That's because the Baltimore Orioles are once again proud to support its academic. They'll be providing tickets next season for all of today's competing students. You know, celebrating the success of our young people makes us all fans. Find out more about the Orioles' involvement in education and in the lives of youth in our community. Look at that guy there. He's having a good time. Visit them at Orioles.com slash community. And before you head to the ballpark, check us out on our It's Academic Facebook page. Before we ask any more questions, let's check the score. Right now, Francis Scott Key is at 200. Calvert Hall is at 220. And Manchester Valley is at 180. Close game. We move next to the picture perfect round. This is a competitive round. Everybody plays. There's a picture with each question. 20 points for each correct answer, 20 points off should you miss. The first picture's coming into view. This milling machine was developed for factories in northern states by what man who had invented the cotton gin? Francis Scott Key. Eli Whitney. Eli Whitney, you got that right, Molly. Next. To confuse predators, the decorator crab covers itself with what primitive A-initialed aquatic plants? Francis Scott Key. What you got? Algae. Algae, yeah, like kelp and seaweed. Nicely done. Thank you, Molly or Amina, for your help there. The Dagoon people of Africa were the first to realize that what star, the brightest in the night sky, yes, Polaris. FSK. Polaris. Polaris? Uh, no, Sirius, the dog star. It's actually a binary star. Next. For what value of B is the slope of the given line equal to negative six? Yes, Francis Scott Key. Um. 12. 12. 12. It is indeed 12. Good answer. Next. Painted by Winslow Homer, this palm tree grows near what capital of the Bahamas? Yes, Calvert Hall. Nassau. Nassau is right, Aiden. Next. Carved by an ancient Phoenician artist, this ivory panel was discovered near what Middle East river that merges with the Euphrates? Yes, Manchester Valley. Tigris. You got it, Bobby. Next. The Rock of Gibraltar is where Europe is closest to what North Africa? Yes, Calvert Hall. Morocco. Morocco is right. Last picture. Roses are the official flower of several U.S. states, including what Peace Garden state, whose capital is Bismarck? Yes, Manchester Valley. Bismarck. Bismarck is in North Dakota, right? What's got? Go for it. South Dakota. South Dakota. North Dakota was the right answer. And that's the end of the picture perfect round. Honor the memory of its academics creator. We are presenting the 2020 Sophie Altman Coach of the Year Award. Established by Giant Food, the award is a tribute to all its academic coaches. And to learn how to nominate your coach, check out our website, itsacademicquizshow.com. And you know, here in the studio, we have some wonderful coaches and school administrators. Let's meet them right now. Let's go over to the Francis Scott Key team, currently with 240 points. And Molly, would you do the honors? Of course. On my right, we have the brilliant Christina Meninger, our coach, yes. and our esteemed vice principal, Mr. Wes Winters. And we are so Brilliant. And <laughs> esteemed. That's well. Thank you both for being here and supporting these young people. We enjoy having you with us. Calvert Hall, uh, Aiden, your team with 260 points. You have the lead at the moment. You have a formidable group of guys back there. Tell us who they are. Uh, so over here is Mr. Brown. He is our current It's Academic coach. Wonderful guy. Uh, 
Behind me is Mr. McGrogan, our former It's Academic coach. Glad to have him here. And then uh, there's Mr. Parisi, our, our Director of Student Activities. Thank you for being here. Thank you, gentlemen. And Mr. Grogan was with us for 30 years and was a former Sophie Altman Coach of the Year winner. So congratulations to you. Nice to have you back, sir. And Manchester Valley, you've got 180 points. You got a good start here today. Bobby, tell us who you brought with you. So that is one of our coaches, Miss Chrisman. That is our principal, Mr. Guerrera. And that is our other coach, Miss Goyette. Did a nice job, Bobby. Thank you all for being here today and supporting them. It means a lot. You know, in our next round of if our students answer all eight of our questions correctly, we make a big fuss, we award them bonus points, we release balloons, we light up lights, we make a big fuss. And the lights are flashing in front of you, Aiden, right now. So I'm gonna ask you to pick pack up one, two, or three for the Francis Scott Key team. I'll do three. Number three, okay. All right. Mina and Molly and Zach, let's get all eight of these so we can see some balloons, right? Okay, here we go. In 1934, Babe Ruth joined other American baseball players at exhibition games in what Asian nation where baseball was now a pop as popular as sumo wrestling? Japan. That's it. Thank you, Zach, for your help there. The Andes Mountains are not only spectacular, the range boasts over 50 examples of what explosive phenomena such as Etna or Mount St. Helens? Volcanoes? Yeah, that's it. In addition to gold rushes, South Africa saw an 1870s rush for what gemstone that's the world's hardest mineral? Diamond. Diamonds is right. Look at your monitor. Here's a science question for you. Which of these terms best describes the reaction between hydronium ions and hydroxyl ions to form water? Neutralization. That's it. Good answer. After first studying law and medicine, what 16th century Polish scholar turned to astronomy and developed the heliocentric theory of planetary motion? Copernicus. It is indeed Copernicus. Because ivory is white but is not transparent, ivory was called the image of a lie by what ancient Greek poet who created the Iliad? Homer. It is Homer. Well done. Math question for you. Look at your monitor. Solve this set of equations for y for me. Six. six. It is six. I have bonus points. 25 bonus points if you get this. The Butler Act did not deal with servants. It was an anti-evolution law used to prosecute what Tennessee school teacher in the 1925 so-called monkey trial? Yes. Scopes. You got it. 25 bonus points for FSK. Nicely done. Four, 25. We got the balloons. We thank you for that. All your alternates are out there. They're excited too. All right. Calvert, oh, I know you can do the same. Bobby, Bobby, which of the remaining packets, one or two, should you, would you like to pick? Let's give them one. We'll give them one. All right. Thomas and Aiden and Graham, I know you can do it. Let's get all eight. In 1772, George Washington helped pay for a celebration after colonial merchants burned a British ship off the coast of what smallest of our states? Rhode Island. Rhode Island is right. Yes, sir. Because paper had not yet been invented, ancient Egyptians wrote on what plant material made from the flattened stems of a type of reed? Papyrus. Yes, sir. Santa's reindeer-named comet appears once a year. But what real comet comes into view only once every 76 years? Haley's Comet. That's it. Science question for you, gentlemen. Look at your monitor. In the fermentation of sugar, the main products formed would be alcohol and which of these? Carbon dioxide. That's it. Besides its leaning tower, <clears throat> excuse me, Pisa can boast of being the hometown of what great Italian scientist who experimented with pendulums and telescopes? Galileo. Galileo is right. One of the favorite books of Civil War troops was not by an American. It was the novel Les Miserables by what French writer? Hugo. Victor Hugo is right. Yes, indeed. Gentlemen, here's your math question. Look at your monitor. What's the value of this expression? Give me your answer as a positive integer, please. What you got? Nine. Nine it is. Graham, thank you for your help on that one. 25 bonus points for you, Calvert Hall, if you get this. In 1997, a gunboat from the Revolutionary War was discovered at the bottom of what large lake bordering Vermont, New York, and Canada? 
Champlain? It is Champlain. 25 bonus points for Calvin Hall. Well done. 445. All right. I like seeing the smiles over there, guys. All right. Manchester Valley, the heat's on. We're going for a trifecta here, right? All right. I got one packet left, packet two. You need to get all eight of these to get your 25 bonus points. Bobby, Salvatore, John, you can do it. Here we go. In Gustav Holst's symphonic work, The Planets, the longest movement is devoted to what planet second from the sun? Venus. Venus. Venus is right. Blasphemy and sorcery were just some of the charges lodged against what 15th century French peasant girl burned at the stake and later declared a saint. Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc is right. Thank you, John, for your help. Before the development of synthetic materials, many toothbrushes were made of hog bristles imported from what vast cold region of Russia? Siberia. 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 That's it. Thank you, Salvatore. Science question for you guys. Look at your monitor. Which of these terms best describes a gene that shows little or no effect when in the presence of a dominant allele? Recessive. That's it. In 1843, the first tunnel for pedestrians was completed beneath what river that flows through London? Um, what? Thames. Thames. Thames or Thames. That's right. Thanks, Salvatore. Most poetry is divided into verses, but there are 12 books in the Aeneid, the major work of what ancient Roman poet? Uh, Any guess for me? We're looking for Virgil. Virgil was the right answer there. Here's a math question for you. You'll get this one. Look at your monitor. If X equals minus 1, what does Y equal in this equation? What you got? 4. It is 4. All right. Last question for you in this round. The Galapagos Islands were first visited in 1535 by a Catholic priest on his way to Peru to settle a dispute involving what Spanish conqueror of the Incas? Pizarro. Francisco Pizarro. You got that right. Nicely done, friend. Manchester Valley takes you 360 points. 320. 320. enjoying this game at home as much as we are here in the studio. Let's check the score before we go to the grab bag right now. Francis got key is at 425. Calvert Hall, 445. And Manchester Valley at 320. Nicely played, all of you. In the grab bag, questions worth 20 points, 20 off of our teams, and 30 up or down for the visual questions. Teams, good luck. We begin. Last year, for the first time in centuries, there were no Christmas services at what Paris Cathedral? Calvert Hall. Notre Dame. Notre Dame, yes. Official business may move somewhat faster in England since both Britain's Chancellor of the Exchequer and the Prime Minister live on what same London? Calvert Hall. Downing Street. Downing Street is where they live. Yes, indeed. Before the passage of the 20th Amendment, presidential inaugurations were held in what month? Calvert Hall. January. Yeah. January. March. March. They're now in January. They used to be in March. Next, 30 points. Look at your monitors. Some terraced rice patties were created thousands of years ago on Luzon, the largest island in what archipelago country? Yes, Calvert Hall. Philippines. You got that right. Well done. Growing 15 feet tall with roots that go down four feet, one sunflower is named for what legendary giant lumberjack who had a blue ox? Francis Scott Key. Paul Bunyan. Paul Bunyan is right, indeed. Good answer. Back in 1927, the first transatlantic telephone call cost $75 and lasted how many minutes equal to 1 20th of an hour? Manchester Valley. Half a minute. Three minutes. One, three minutes was the answer there. Next. I Never Came to You in White is a novel about what real-life woman, a poet who lived in Amherst, Massachusetts, and... Yes, Calvert Hall. Dickinson. Dickinson. Emily Dickinson is right. Thank you, Thomas, for your help. 30 points. Look at your monitors. Stone walls do not a prison make. Richard Lovelace, who wrote this line of poetry, lost his own freedom for supporting what? Stuart King, who was later executed. Francis Scott Key. Oh, my God. What's the Jacob? Like, because, like, the Jacobites are basically... Like, Which guy? Jacob. Jacob. Uh, 
Charles the first was the right answer there. And the buzzer says, our game is over. We'll be back with a wrap up in just a moment. Don't go away. Congratulations with 300 points, the team from Manchester Valley. 415 for Francis Gutkey. And today's winner going to the playoffs with 515 points, Calvert Hall High School. I'm Dave Zarin. Hope to see you next time on It's Academic. Audience, come on down.